This is a fake Shure SM7B. And you know how I know this is a fake Shure SM7B? Because this is a real Shure SM7B. And there are some differences between these two. Now, they're subtle, but I want to help you know whether you're buying a real SM7B or a fake. Now, I thought I was getting a really good deal with this thing when I bought it on Amazon a month ago until I realized it was from a third-party seller and when it arrived, I could see that it was a fake. So, let's dive in and let's have a look at some of the features that are different between this and the real. So, as you can see, the fake SM7B is a little bit longer than the real one. And then the wind sock on the outside here, this one's a little bit lighter and this one's a little bit darker. Now we can actually pop these wind socks off and you'll see on the inside that the diaphragms are also slightly different lengths. This one's a little bit longer and this one's just a little bit further back. When we jump back in and have a look at these foam edges, you'll see that this one has a much more angled edge here, whereas this is much more rounded. Also, it's hard to see on camera, but these little, these little dials here, the little screws that go in here, are actually really different from this. This one's really, they're really like deep, whereas this one is a lot more shallow. Also, with the yoke on the fake SM7B, it's really hard to tighten it up. The yoke here is really, really loose. And even if you give it a good tighten, it's still really loose. Whereas on the real SM7B, the yoke is really firm. And you can loosen it up and move it and put it back into place. And it's still not going anywhere. Now, while we're here with the real SM7B, we can see that this cable... When you touch it, when I touch it, it's, it's got a really nice kind of hefty feel to it. Whereas on the fake one, it's got a bit of give and a bit of play in the actual cable itself. And you can see it's a much cheaper looking cable. There's lots of little kinks and kind of bends in the cable. Whereas this one is a much more solid cable. Also, these little rubber bits that go into the metal here sit really flush with the metal, whereas on the fake, this rubber sticks out quite a lot, even on there. With the fake, this little screw here doesn't have much play in it, actually has no play in it, whereas with a real SM7B, there's a bit of play there. Another way that you can tell the difference is by looking at these back plates. The fake back plate has no countersunk, countersunk holes and has some overspray around the outside of the disc. Whereas the real one has countersunk holes and a clean edge around the outside. The stickers that come inside the box, which seems funny to talk about a sticker, but the stickers that come inside the box in the real shore you can't see the white outline on the outside, whereas with the fake one, you can see that there's a big bit of white here. And if I flip them over, one's white on the back and one's black on the back. Now we're going to plug these things in and have a listen and hear the difference between a real Shure SM7B and a fake Shure SM7B. So talking into the real Shure SM7B, we can hear the sonic characteristic of it, nice clear kind of tops with the nice mids in there and there's no buzz and no sound there. Even if I turn the gain all the way up. You can hear that there's no buzz. Now I'm talking into the fake Shure SM7B and you can hear it sounds a lot woollier and has a lot more low end. And if I turn that gain up, You can hear how noisy that sounds. I get really angry when I see this kind of dishonesty happening in the world. I really hate it. And Shure are actually a really good company with really, really high quality products. 
And you know when you buy a Shure product that it's gonna last for years, that it's just not gonna break down and it's really, really solid. And this thing, to be quite honest, is just a piece of junk. But the thing is, you're gonna pay money for it still. This still, in Australian dollars, was around $600, which really isn't that much cheaper than a real SM7B. But I thought I was getting a bargain. And I, I feel stupid that I was actually dumb enough to fall for it. And I really hope that you don't fall for it as well, because it's just not an SM7B. It doesn't sound the same. It sounds woollier. It is not high quality and will break down. So I hope you learn from my mistake of buying a fake Shure SM7B and you don't buy a sh fake Shure SM7B. Buy the real thing, buy it from a reputable seller in your country who is actually an official Shure seller. I hope this video helps. If it does help, please hit that like button. Comment down below what you thought about the sound of the fake Shure SM7B versus the real one. And I'll catch you on the next one.